Hello, this is Mr. Messerman with the Flip Classroom Podcast. Chemistry of Earth number 10. I can identify minerals by cleavage, crystal form, streak, luster, and hardness. One that's not listed on there is color. And the reason it's not listed is because minerals come in a variety of colors. Calcite, sort of pink, blue, and clear. Or quartz, clear, pink, and purple. So color is not the best. But cleavage and crystal form is. All right, so I'm going to try to sacrifice these uh, pieces of mineral to show you the difference between crystal form and cleavage. Here is a crystal of quartz and a piece of Iceland spar calcite. So what we're going to notice is when we break the uh, calcite into little pieces, that all the little pieces look the same. They all have the parallelograms. And they're just little miniature copies of each other. Whereas when we break this quartz, we see that the bottom of the quartz here completely fractures and does not have show any cleavage planes. Uh, whereas these are crystal faces that grew this way. These are cleavage planes that were broken this way. No, oh, this is a discussion of luster, we have metallic, and then we have three pieces that are glassy. This one does shine and reflect light. Like glass, maybe stained glass. So does the uh, amethyst quartz. It's like glass. Calcite obviously does, it's clear. And then we have some talc that is Kind of dull, maybe with a slight waxy shine to it. And that is luster. Light. Got it in there? Yep. So I'm just kind of showing streak here. And we can see the white powder that forms when we powder some of these soft minerals. And the, the tip of it. Turns white, that's one way to see that. So pretty much everything, uh, all these soft minerals are light to white colored streak. And even some of our dark minerals like this, if you uh, rub them on the plate, you don't really see much in the way of dark on the streak plate. And if you look at the corner, it actually looks kind of white. So streak is only diagnostic for the metallic minerals. And that is hematite with its reddish brown. And this is pyrite with its black streak. You can see right here in the middle. How you tell fool's gold from real gold. So streak only works for the metallic minerals. And here's a quick overview of the Mohs Hardness Scale. We have five minerals in our boxes that are actually on the scale. Number one is talc. Number two is gypsum. Three is calcite. Not in our box is fluorite. And apatite. And feldspar. Quartz. topaz, sapphire, and diamond. And we test these with some known objects, such as fingernails, about two, pennies, about three, um, steel is about five and a half, and glass is about six. And pause it right here for the summary, and you can back it up if you need to. Thanks for watching.